What's goody warriors? I'm back! Let's do this thing! Thank you! As always, because I'm humble and I'm grateful. Everybody that supported and talked to me, that's added me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. I've had an amazing response. People have like, we're back to 500 subscribers on YouTube. You know, everyone that has commented and I've heard your stories of video gaming. Because my last video, obviously, I talked about my video game history, my origin. I came from uh, fighting games. I played Marvel. I played Street Fighter. All those type of video games. You know, so I just want, I was happy to talk to you guys and hear your stories and, you know, I've had a good response even on Twitter, you know, like all sorts of people like um, the Steam Company, which is um, a vaping company that um, they added me on Twitter, you know, um, voice actors, wrestlers, um, MMA people, actors, voice actors. Crazy video game companies have added me, you know, like even Konami and, you know, Sunset Overdrive added me on Google Plus and Dragon's Dogma added me on Google Plus, all types of crazy stuff. And so I'm appreciative that, you know, somehow my little voice, brand new voice is being heard by um, the people and even being heard by the companies because of your support. So I want to say thank you for that. And I'm so grateful. Um, and today I just want to keep it going, I want to keep the momentum going, 2015, we started strong, we're going to keep pushing strong. So what I want to do, I want to talk about PC gaming and console gaming, and I want to talk about the exclusives that is going on, you know, Dragon's Dogma and Street Fighter V and Deep Down and Lara Croft and all those type of games. So let's start off, what I want to talk about first is... The cost of video gaming. If you look at video gaming now, video gaming, it used to be cheaper to buy a console instead of a PC. But now, consoles are costing twice what they used to cost five, six years ago. You know, because of like the Blu-ray players and you have to pay for servers and subscription fees. Blu-ray players and the prices have been driven up more than what they were before. To a certain degree, PC gaming is cheaper. The games are because it's easier to reproduce the game. You know, Steam, general digital download. It's more expensive to have a PC. A PC costs a lot of money. You know, to upgrade it is more cost effective than buying a new console. You'll be hard pressed to find a PC that could run any type of new gen games for £700, 700 pounds, um, pounds or eight to nine hundred dollars you'll be damn lucky if you can find a pc cheaper than that that will run any of the current gen or new generation video games you have to have at least an, a pc that is i5 or i7 i5 your pc will be struggling so it's minimum requirement also you have to think about how PCs and video gaming are different but they're becoming more similar. Now, video gaming, they've got apps. Video gaming, limited multitasking functionality. You know, apps, Blu-ray player, video games, Skyping, talking to people, all that kind of stuff. But PC still dominates in terms of multitasking. Always has, always will. The PC is a multi-use device. It's not just for gaming. It doesn't just focus on gaming, it focuses on other stuff. Thousands of different tasks are being calculated by a PC regularly all the time you know it's not dedicated to just gaming it's taking care of thousands of different tasks at one time and there's multiple functions that is going on within a PC where um, a video gaming console is just dedicated to video gaming yeah there are apps and blu-ray players and as I said before limited multitasking functionality but those is literally six or seven where a PC has thousands of tasks and uses that it's using at one time that's why to a certain degree with that aspect again video gaming console is essential it's needed and pc gaming is designed to handle virtually all types of applications on its system whereas console gaming as ps3 ps4 xbox one 360 they have a specific OS that's designed to take care of just video gaming functions. You know, so that has to be looked at when you're addressing which is better, P 
PC or console gaming. And it can also be difficult to customize your PC to contour to video gaming. Factors for PC gaming like CPU, speed, graphics, frame rate, sound, pixels, audio functionality, all those kind of things have to be configured sometimes. And all operating systems and all PCs have different architecture. So some have to be changed, some settings have to be changed. There's also the possibility of crashing. The PC runs other functions, thousands of other functions other than gaming. And that's why a video game console is the winner in this case. You know, a video game console is designed to be one thing a video games console whereas a PC isn't designed to be a video games console yet it can run it you know but there is a gap in functionality and what the machines are dedicated to this is why I believe video gaming is important so this brings me to my other part of the show which I'm going to do in my second part so I'm going to end it here and I'm going to continue in my second part so stick with me warriors and thanks for watching